Welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen. President Hafateh SCC inaugurated on Thursday a number of mega projects, including roads, new housing units, and sewage. The projects were carried out in joint cooperation of between ministers and the Armed Forces Engineering Authority. The National Road project covered 3,400 kilometers in total and was built at a cost of £17 billion. Pounds. More details in the following report. Engineering Authority. The National Road Projects covered 3,400 kilometers in total, built at a cost of £17 billion. The projects included the Road Al Farag Dawa Road Access, the 70 kilometers long Cairo Suez Road, 120 kilometers long Kuna Safaga Road in Upper Egypt, and the Talha Nile Access. The projects also included 1,100 housing units built as the National Social Housing Project in Safaga. Number of ministers and officials attend the inauguration through video conference. Speaking during the inauguration ceremony, President Sisi said that the state was keen to alleviate the burdens and hardships facing citizens following a series of economic reform measures. The president said that all problems facing the country could be solved by strong will and work. He noted that defeating terrorism would not be achieved by security efforts only, but through improving the standards of living for all Egyptians. The president said that the national housing projects should be concluded by mid-2018 to end the problem of slum areas. For his part, Housing Minister Mustafa Ahmed Bouli confirmed that the housing sector faced during the recent period a set of challenges brought about by the economic reform measures, especially the changes in prices that came as a result of the liberalization of the pound and the value-added tax. Ahmed Bouli added that it will be coordinated with the parliament to reach a low guarantee in compensation to the sector. Ahmed Bouli reviewed efforts by the ministry to carry out housing projects, which included 490 thousand housing units as part of the National Social Housing Project in two years. In his speech, Minister of Transportation Galal Mustafa Saeed said that efforts were underway to conclude the National Road Network Project. He noted that eight projects out of 12 were inaugurated. Foreign Minister Samah Shokri met on Thursday with UN envoy to Libya Martin Kobler for talks on the latest developments in Libya. The meeting came after Egypt hosted the two-day conference on proposals to overcome difficulties facing the implementation of the Sukhairat Agreement for settling the conflict in Libya. Grand Imam of Al Azhar, Dr. Ahmed Al Tayyib, made a visit on Wednesday to St. Mark's Cathedral at Al Abbasiya district. Al Tayyib met with Pope Tuadrus II to extend condolences on the victims of the terrorist attack that trucked the Botrusaya church. Al Tayyib said that the terrorists were targeting the Egyptian people's unity, calling on the Egyptians, Muslims, and Christians to teach those criminals a lesson with their unity. Egyptian authorities announced on Thursday the execution of terrorist Adel Habara after ratification of President Al-Fatih al-Sisi of the court ruling. Habara is convicted of involvement in the second Rafah massacre. The court also issued another ruling to convict him in the death of policeman Abu, Qi, Abu Qabir police station in El Sharqiyya.